Welcome back, everyone. After going 0-11 last year, the <laughs> Mountain Ridge Sentinels pulled off their first victory in school history last week, beating Olympus. That's right. Mountain Ridge going for win number two tonight against Kearns. The Cougars get on the board first as Naki Leha fights his way through the pile and into the end zone. Touchdown, Cougars. Mountain Ridge trying to get back into a quarterback. Aiden Helm going deep for Jordan Day. And with the defender draped all over him, still makes the catch. But Mountain Ridge can't take advantage. Helm to Logan Bennett, stretches it across. The ref calls that a fumble. Oh. And Kearns recovered in the end zone. Tough break for the Sentinels. It probably wouldn't have mattered. The final, 41-14. Kearns ups its record to 2-0. Mountain Ridge falls to 1-1. Granger High School trying to get off to a 2-0 start. The Lancers hosting Clearfield. Granger scoring early and often. Quarterback Cadiz Fuima Ono on the keeper. Up the middle, nine yards. Early in the second quarter. He scored again. Another keeper. This one from 12 yards out. Granger was threatening to score again. Fuima Ono with the pass. It's picked off by Clearfield in the end zone. But pass interference was called against the Falcons. And Dianzi Fuek came in on the keeper. Breaks this one 20 yards. Touchdown on his first carry of the game. Granger added a couple more touchdowns before the half. This one by Desmond Fue. Four yards out in the final. Granger wins this one 40 to 14. The Lancers now 2 and 0 on the season. All right, let's head over to Taylorsville. The Warriors hosting Northridge tonight. Taylorsville, alma mater of our own Emily Flores. Their quarterback, Humani Wolfgram, going deep for Bryson Paisley. Nice catch. That sets up a 37 yard pickup for the Warriors. Call plays later. Wolfgram. Looking for the touchdown, but the Knights' Josh Polglace snags it. Interception in the end zone. Northridge takes over. Quarterback Famous Williams, not so famous on this <laughs> pass. Picked off by Tristan Rossenow, but the Knights pull it out. Sorry, Emily. The final 31 to 24. Jake Ashton with a 60 yard touchdown catch for the Knights. Last night, of course, big win for American Fork over Timpview. The Caveman jumped on the scoreboard first with a nine yard touchdown run by quarterback Maddox Madsen. He's good. Later, Madsen hands the ball off to Spike Adams. He's going to get around a defender and get all the way to the end zone for the touchdown as American Fork takes the 14-0 lead. AF looks like one of the best teams in the state right now. Madsen to Noah Moikai, an eight-yard scoring pass. It was 21 zip at the half. And the final score, American Fork rolls 31-21. Three total touchdowns for Maddox Madsen, two through the air and one on the ground.